Hi guys, Marcus here, and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, July 14th, 2020. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and this is episode 255. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. And make sure to watch till the end of the episode, where for your convenience, I do a recap of all the dramas with premiere dates and where to watch them. In this episode, Kenny Lin begins a new drama, and The Long Ballad releases character posters. But first, here are some dramas that premiered over the past week. White War is a crime drama starring Bosco Wong, Ron Ng, and Kenny Kwan, and it premiered on July 9th. The drama tells the story of three cops who've been close friends since childhood, and how their friendship is tested when greed and corruption enters the picture. The cast also includes Hong Kongers Christy Chow and Karina Ng. Despite a cast dominated by Hong Kongers, it's a mainland production by Tencent and Le Dao Entertainment. It premiered strong, coming in second in last week's Top 10 Web Dramas list. It is available on YouTube, Cantonese, and Mandarin version. Unfortunately, no English subs. However, for English subs, you can go to Drama Cool. For Married Doctoress is a costume drama starring Gong Mi and Mi Re, and it premiered on July 10th. Here's Gong Mi's character, the daughter of a powerful official who's forced to marry Mi Re's character, an emperor who's really just a powerless puppet. This is Uyghur actor Mi Re's first starring role in a long time. It's too bad for his international fans that this drama is only available on IGE, which means no English subs for the moment. Shi Cha Hai is a modern drama starring Liu Peiqi and Lian Yiming, and it premiered on July 10th. The drama follows three generations of a Chinese family living in the Hutongs of Beijing. Hutongs are these alleyway neighborhoods commonly associated with northern cities, especially Beijing. You'll see them in many Chinese dramas set in Beijing, like this one in A Splendid Life in Beijing. Many Beijing hutongs have been demolished over the years to make way for newer developments, but in recent times, many have been protected as heritage. Some of them go all the way back to the 1300s. Shi Cha Hai has a young supporting cast, which includes Guan Xiaotong and Liu Wu. The drama is available on YouTube with English subs. The Night of the Comet 2 is a modern romance drama starring Lu Zhaohua and Zhang Yujian, and it premiered on July 12. It follows two people whose lives change when the coming of a comet takes them to a parallel universe where they find love. The Night of the Comet 2 is available on YouTube, no English subs at the moment, but its prequel, The Night of the Comet, is available on the same channel with English subs, so it might just be a matter of time before Part 2 gets subbed as well. And finally, 20 Year Life On is a modern drama starring Guan Xiaotong and Bu Guanqing, and it premiered earlier today, July 14th. It follows four girls led by Guan Xiaotong's character as they graduate from college and hit the big 2-0. Ah, to be 20 again. The drama is available on the iQIYI app with English subs. And just to follow up on a segment I did in my last video, The Lost Tomb Reboot starring Zhu Yulong and Rachel Mao have officially announced a premiere date of July 15th. The drama follows a group of three friends who reunite and embark on a mysterious tomb raiding journey after they receive a text message. I will give updates on where to watch it with English subs when it premieres. And moving on, Kenny Lin's new drama. My Bargain Queen is an upcoming modern drama starring Kenny Lin and Wu Jingyan, and they started filming yesterday. Here are the two stars at the booting ceremony. Wu Jingyan plays a woman who's about to get married. It's supposed to be the most blissful day of her life, but her fiancé gets cold feet and bails on her last minute. On top of that, she clashes with the hotel manager played by Kenny Lin, who refuses to give her a refund but eventually she gets it from him after some bargaining. In the process, she discovers that she has a talent for bargaining and forms a company that specializes in that, hence the title of the drama, My Bargain Queen. Like many other rom-coms, the two leads start off on the wrong foot, but eventually fall for each other. 
Kenny Lin doesn't do dramas that often, or even movies for that matter. He just seems like a very chill, take it easy and just do a project once in a while type of guy. His last drama to air was Princess Agents in 2017, in which he starred as the quiet but skillful martial arts master Yuan Yue. He also has the modern drama To Love coming up, he stars in that with Ka Yue Xi. In stark contrast to Kenny, Wu Jingyan has been super busy. Wu Jingyan shot to fame when she starred in the super popular palace drama The Story of Yanxi Palace. She had 3 dramas air in 2019 and at the moment has almost 10 dramas awaiting release. I will give more updates on My Bargain Queen as they provide them. And now, The Long Ballad. The Long Ballad is an upcoming costume drama starring Del Raba and Leo Wu, and they recently released their first official character posters. The drama is based on a comic of the same name, and already has a pretty big following online. It's set in the Tang Dynasty and follows Princess Li Changke, played by Del Raba, and her quest to avenge her father's death. She raises an army for that objective and meets a young general, A Shina Shun, played by Leo Wu. Del Raba is just coming off starring in Love Designer, which topped TV drama viewing charts for weeks. Leo's last starring role was in Guardians of the Ancient Oath. Also in the Long Ballad's cast is Liu Yuning as Hao Du, Zhao Lusi as Li Leyan. Zhao Lusi is having a terrific year so far with The Romance of Tiger and Rose and Love of Thousand Years before that, and Fang Yilun as Wei Shu Yu. The drama started filming at the end of March, so they're about three and a half months in now. It joins my list of highly anticipated costume dramas to watch for, which includes other titles like Legend of Fei, The Golden Hairpin, and Pearl Eclipse. More updates on this as they provide them. And now a recap of all the dramas with premiere dates and where to watch them. White War premiered on July 9th. It's available on YouTube, no English subs, drama cool with English subs. For Married Doctorus premiered on July 10th, it's available on iQIYI, no English subs. Shi Cha Hai premiered on July 10th, it's available on YouTube with English subs. The Night of the Comet 2 premiered on July 12th, it's available on YouTube, no English subs. 20 Year Life Fun premiered on July 14th, it's available on the iQIYI app with English subs. And The Lost Tomb Reboot will premiere on July 15th, I will update on where to watch that with English subs. And before I let you guys go, I want to give a hearty shout out to Jenny who recently became a patron on my Patreon page. Thank you for your support. You know, whenever I hear the name Jenny, I think of Forrest Gump, and that always brings a smile to my face. It's a great movie, that one. Anyway, that's it for this episode. This show would not be possible without your support, so I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. And if you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, I'll answer one of your questions at the end of one of my episodes. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!